NFL 23. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Seattle Seahawks and the Detroit Lions. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Detroit Lions. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. set of circumstances awaited Jared Goff in Detroit last season after his trade from Los Angeles. He made what he could out of them and managed three wins on a rebuilding Lions team. They should improve this year behind Goff after an offseason where they made considerable investments in order to try and improve this ball club. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third, gone. Flush to his right. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Now gone. And connecting here with DJ Shark. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Oh, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. They'll try it now with Swift. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 the 39-yard line. Here's Locke to throw. And that'll be knocked away. It's 
That's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. On second and ten. Lock. He lets it fly for Lockett. He's got it with the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett. 61 yards. And the Seahawks get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. But they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned them. And I don't think it's the last time they called this number in this one. Myers connects on the PAT, and it's now a 7 0 game. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride the offense this go around. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Back to throw. Gone. Time to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now gone. Polluting the pressure right. That's going to be caught along the sideline. And what a job of keeping his feet in bounds. They say that's a catch. That third down conversion good for 23. That's a big gainer on that play. And from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come to the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great, because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Here's gone. He gets this complaint to Cephas. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 39. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And they will only muster a yard here on the 38. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense. Diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. On second down, Swift. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Gone. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they like some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. 
Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and it's going to be a first down. Well done. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look and we will take a short break. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Locke. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Tyler Lockett with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Seahawks have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to it. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now 14 to nothing. Lions nothing. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From the 10. So here come the Lions now. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Swift to start the drive. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. No gain on the play. Second and ten. To throw on second down is gone. And that's out to the flat for Swift. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. A little search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. It's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And here now the putter, Fox, as he sends this one away. And it's fielded at the 34. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. There's Tyler Lockett and the rest of his Seattle teammates coming out for the next possession. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Lock now on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. Back to the air on second down. It's Lock. No escape for Lock, and he'll go down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, that's what they have to do more defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. 
obviously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Pretty woeful there. Just 23 yards on the punt. And the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Goff now looking to throw. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Barreling in for the sack, Shelby Harris. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needed to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Escaping, and he's going to go down again. Ochenna Nuosu, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. Well, partners, the first quarter too early to start talking about needing a comeback. They're down two touchdowns already, and that sack, that disrupts this drive. They need something to go right on offense, and they need it to happen soon. Take it at the 37. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. Now the Seahawks will have great field position to start this drive. They take over on the short side of the field. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And they're going to get this down to about the 17 yard line here. To throw again on second down. Lock. To the sideline. And oh, that's well done. Able to drag the feet. He's going to have the first down. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. I just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? And they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who, what, what defense you're in. That was totally a blown coverage. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. again a hit as he throws there incomplete they're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter already sacked him once now they get in there and knock another one away think maybe that tough one being gone makes defenses a lot bolder yes indeed that time lucky that the arm was going forward and he will score touchdown Seattle Drew Locke taking it in from two yards out. And the Seahawks have moved out in front by three touchdowns. 
Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. The extra point now coming from Myers. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21-0. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Another shot now for this Lions offense. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a fairly scored deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. From the 25 on second down, golf. And this one taken in by Cephas. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Goff now looks to throw. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Well, not that we had any questions, but it's obvious his arm does not hurt today, does it? He does not mind slinging it around. He is firing that pigskin around the yard. Yeah, but the deep downfield taking shots. Unsuccessful there. But I like his moxie. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Here's gone. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So first and 10 now from the 30. Go off a handoff here to Swift. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. On second and nine, golf. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 21 nothing. our score after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the red zone now, Goff. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Quentin Jefferson in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Golf. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18 yard line. There's Golf. Toward the 
sideline. It's complete. An athletic grab, but still well short of the first. Austin Seibert on for the field Cybert able to knock this one through. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never gotten a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes and puts it on the carpet. It's out, and this is scooped up by the Lions. There. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Go. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, gone. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. Throwing on second and long, gone. It's incomplete, took a shot, couldn't connect. The chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. And now that brings up fourth down there. A loss of six yards on the sack. Seibert's kick is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And we will get another look at Seattle's offense. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive with a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. Coach will just be relieved. I think Coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed it. Off of the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Now a play fake, and here's Locke. On the move to his left. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. And this is almost over. He gained thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down. Followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Here's Michael Dixon down the punt. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will 
take over first and ten. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. Puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. On second down, here's Goff. Sharks got it, left side. And he'll be out of balance, but able to get it up past the 45. Goff linking up with Shark for a Lions first down. These guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having the panic out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. Here's a handoff to Swift, running left. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. And the last run got three, now here's second and seven. Now it's gone. Now the ball comes loose, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And they will set up shot at their own 41-yard line. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. The Seahawks again now ready to take over on offense. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. And a lot of being a defender is being able to learn what you can and can't get away with winning man coverage. In this case, he got away with it and helped pop that ball free. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand and it's incomplete. So far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Jared Davis drops him for a loss of 10. And it's going to be fourth and long. Now here's Michael Dixon as the drive goes backwards. So he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 23. Here's Goff. And this one into the hands of D.J. Shark. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A play fake for Swift. Now Goff. And his throw is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic. Out of sync. And it shows on the scoreboard. Third and two, gone. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Got to say, it's a little surprised to see him try to come out the shot out of the front of the yard. Yeah, but the way NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Golf throwing complete for Swift, and he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right at the 40. And that's good for a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Swift going to try up the middle, and this will light up a Lions first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Swift split carries down the middle with Jamal Williams in 2021. Detroit's busiest players in the passing game. 
He caught 62 passes, second on the team, and fourth among NFL running backs. The showing could convince the Lions to make him their RB1. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Goff now to throw. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your line and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. Under pressure, and they got to him again. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Pulled in at the 24. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now a throw here to his running back. And he goes out right around the 39. Play action. Now it's locked. Toward the sideline. And look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And it's going to be a first down. Well done. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. They fake the handoff, now lock. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. On play action, lock. Looking sideline, incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that will extend their lead even further. So no touchdown that time, but they do get three more, and now they have even more of a cushion. It's been a terrific first half offensively, so it's hard to blame them for not getting into the end zone there. But the way they've been moving the ball in this one, I don't think these will be their final points of the game. Jason Blair is to kick off for Seattle. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. 
And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Time for another look at this Lions offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Off play action. Here's Goff. Hawkinson crossing the middle and bringing it in. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Golf on target to Hawkinson for a line first down. They'll set up a throw. And he's going to be taken down. Golf is sacked. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the two of a nine-yard line. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Golf. The result only four yards there on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Tall task ahead of them here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And the defense loses him. It's complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well, because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Swift. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. And he finds one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And the Seahawks are going to get the football back at their own 17. Well, Brad, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to get with the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times they get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Locks throw into the hands of Lockett. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Lock off a of play action. And this all incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble 
people slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. First and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw again on second down. Golf. He gets this complete to Cephas. Cephas, 58 yards, and the Lions get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Well, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that makes it 24-13. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Seahawks going to take over now late in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Lock now on first down. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Ball of the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. There's Locke to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Bootleg. He'll buy some time right. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a play fake, and here's Locke. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Meyer's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. From the 10. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though. 
Let's run through the next-gen stats for the Seahawks in that first half. And it's been the passing game that's been the story. They have feasted on the secondary to the tune of 200-plus yards already through two quarters. And meanwhile, for the Lions, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. Final adjustments being made in both locker rooms. They are just about set to get back to football in Detroit. And for the call of the second half, we'll kick it back up to Ford Field and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space. It turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And this will be a Seahawks first down as good running gets him to about the 44. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already. So he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's in a full run by the time he gets the football. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. They did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt, certainly not what he wanted. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's gone. Sharks got it left side. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. A couple of first downs right in succession and this is an offense that can really use a good drive and they're up to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Gone. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they're fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers.
They will run straight ahead with Swift. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Second and nine. Goff now looks to throw. And this one taken in by Cephas. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop it. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field. It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now gone. And this will complete right side to Funches. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Nice running throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and goal. Golf under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Ochina Nuosu able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Back to throw, gone. Dancing to his left. This will be caught at about the five. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Cyber able to knock this one through. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So his third field goal in the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear. They want to close this gap. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half, but the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mentally. Get back to doing what you were doing well in the beginning of the game, but a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire it sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up a lead. You think you've got it going, and you also think, at any moment, I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before. You and I both know it's not that easy. Once you get off the gas a little. Yeah, they don't want to see this lead diminish anymore. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. Penny. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Try the right side here with Penny. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Ten more there and another first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. 
Well, they'll try the sweep. It's locking with it. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Locks throw into the hands of Fan. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A lock finding Fan for the Seahawk first down. First down by Noah Fan. You're reminded watching him play. That he's one of the most athletic tight ends we saw coming out of college in recent years. Every route and every catch can be turned into a bigger play with what he can do as an athlete in the open field. A nice big play from him there for the first down. Throwing on first down is Lock. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. And the Lions are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Brandon, these cornerbacks have their hands full all afternoon long, but they finally get a measure of revenge as he gets himself in a nice spot. He's able to get two hands on the football and pick it off. And Detroit getting set to go now. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Ochina Nuosu able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Golf. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now gone. He's going to look deep down the field. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the field. We always talk about the guy who came off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job of the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's a handoff to Swift. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football party. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And that will wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 13-yard line. 13 yards down to the 13. Well, that last completion CD is now over 400 yards passing in the game, and quite a few of those have come via some pretty big strikes downfield. Certainly not afraid to challenge this secondary, and it's been successful. I like your observation there, partner, because I agree. This is a group more than capable of torching a secondary any week is evidenced by their combined stat line here. And in the time we have remaining, what shocked me at all to see them take another deep shot. He's trying to get it to Alvin Ross St. Brown. That'll bring up second down. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Over the middle, hauled in by Sharp. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, gone. Yeah. <laughs> 
So they try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two point cheat sheet and said, go for it, get it to a three point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. So just a three point game now as they send this one away. Well, he thought about it coming out, but instead he does go down to a knee. And they'll bring the football out to the 25. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception. So we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. 23 yards on the tuck and run. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. On first down, lock. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Got a man, it's caught. Inside the 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf. 52 yards. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flush from the pocket, a lot of times you see him Eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off, becomes a running back. But as you noted, stayed alive as a passer, tremendous body control, and a pretty good arm there, too. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball. They leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now a first down throw, gone. Incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. But it's going to be second down. A play fake for Swift, now Goff. And Sharp calls it in. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A first down there on a pick up of 25. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 36. On the handoff, this is Swift. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Goff now looking to throw. 
Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as a tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 19. Goff finding Hawkinson there for the Lion first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They run out of the gun with Swift. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Now left side on the swing pass. And he is going to lose yardage here. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. And that's a great job of tackling right there. If he could have made the first man miss, maybe he could have taken it into the end zone. Instead, they stopped him pretty well right in his tracks. And you often see that in the red zone. Offense has to be quick. In this case, the defense was quicker. Throwing on third. Go on. This drive didn't end well, but if they can keep stringing these together, they'll like what they're doing. That was an eight-play drive before it ended in a fumble. So the takeaway's got to be doing what we want to do and doing it well. Just got to take care of the ball at the end. Seahawks with a first and 10. Lock gets ready to go at their own 16. Following the fumble recovery, it's Lock. Forced out to his left. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. He'll get five out of the scramble and second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He's shown Elliott there on the tackle. He's a gain of 17 yards. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Seahawks with the possession. They also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth and final quarter. Lock now on first down. Finds Penny. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to double the back, you better prevent a completion. But give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort. Turned it into a successful play. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Now lock. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. A turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Now lock again. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry putting up positive yardage on each run. It's complete to Lockett. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. 
Clock now to throw. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five and the six. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Here's Locke to throw. Second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the math there. And at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Now Myers for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That time, a nine-play drive, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From the 10. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now it's gone. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. If I can put my defensive cap on right now, I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout. And all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Goff on first down. And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. Picked up by Sidney Jones. And the Seahawks are going to get the football there as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. After the turnover, here's Locke. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. A good gain on first, has him set up with second in just a couple of inches now from the 29. Throwing now is Locke. Charles Harris getting home for the sack. It's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back, but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. Now here's Michael Dixon as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. 
And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. Pretty woeful there, just 23 yards on the punt. And the Lions will take over. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually works. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Throwing again on second down. Golf. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And two. Goff on third down. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Now Goff on first down. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and pick up on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. To the air again, gone. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. After the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Here's gone. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up fourth down. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Seahawks with a first and 10. Locke gets ready to go at the 31-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. Well, that interception at least offers them a glimmer of hope here in the fourth quarter. Well, it certainly does if their offense goes out now and makes it pay off by getting into the end zone. And if it does... 
then they get a chance to get back out on the field and try and do it again. Maybe they can force that offense into more and more mistakes and give them a chance to get back into this one totally. Yeah, still a three-score hill to climb. We'll see if they can do it. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Gone. Over the middle, hold on by Shark. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Out of the gun, gone. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Swift will take this one in. It's a Lions touchdown. Delaro went down there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point by Cyber, up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your halfback or something like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football and be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. They'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Or even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in the dual threat world. Really chewing up yardage and getting the points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. They try to throw it on second down, but this one is incomplete. Seahawks on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third and seven. This is the tight end fan. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. They'll give him four yards there. And it'll be fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on the punt for Seattle. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked down inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. Start on the ground with Swift. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Goff. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. 
And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Desperation time for Goff on four. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Goff now to throw. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. So many things have to get right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something wrong with that one. Pass complete. It's Hawkinson. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. So first and 10 now from the 30. Goff now to throw. They still can't get it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down now with that clock rolling. Now gone. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Gone. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in first down. That's good for the Lions. Now it's gone. Being chased, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And they're trying to line up quickly here. Goff urging them on. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. To throw is gone. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And the Seahawks will have solid field position here as they take over at the 45-yard line. Isn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a play to catch. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44 yard line. After the interception, here's gone. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Justin Coleman. The 30, 10, 5, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a fourth quarter pick six here, and that one might put this game out of reach, CD. I certainly agree with that, partner. And I know one thing, though. That team that just got the pick six, they're going to keep playing until this one's over. Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. The extra point now coming from Myers. 
that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low point. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. To try again after the sack. Goff. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here this way. It certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camp, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory.